never again will you have to eat another tough meat after watching this video. Hey guys, I'm Chef Wang of Fiery Pot Kitchen and I'm preparing five weeks of ways of cooking pork chop, tender pork chop that is. This video today will show you how to tenderize your meat, season and pan fry your pork chops. There's also another way of tenderizing your meat. I wouldn't show you physically in this video, but I'll tell you the process is just if you want to cook your meat like now instantly then the other way of tenderizing would be to bruise that meat cover that meat in a plastic wrap get a mullet and bruise it on both sides when I say bruise I don't mean to say tear the meat just bruise it on each side if you notice in some videos there would be the same process of bruising but they would season their meat beforehand that's one way of doing it but in this video I will show you the way I does it and that would be to put it in a plastic wrap tenderize it take it out rinse it then I'll season then I'll cook so with all that said Let's get started in making this video of pan fry pork chops. The first step I'll do in this video will show you how to tenderize your meat, your pork chop, but in any, in any case, any meat, poultry, you can do the same thing. You will have tender, tender meat. The first step in this video would be showing you how to tenderize your meat by using baking soda and I would use two tablespoons of baking soda I'll just rub that in on both sides cover it leave it in the fridge for about an hour some cases you can leave it if you have time you can leave it in the fridge for overnight 24 hours so this is our meat You would first tenderize by using two tablespoons of baking soda that would be rubbed into each This meat would be placed in the refrigeration for about an hour. Next step would be to rinse this properly under some fresh running water. Then we season by using the seasoner that, that, that's, that's here. Okay, now the next step would be to season these pork chops. We use about a tablespoon of lemon or lime juice that we squeeze we use a tablespoon of fresh garlic or you can use garlic powder powder not salt use a tablespoon of salt or four pieces of pork chop You have a teaspoon of parsley flakes, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of paprika. These will rub into the meat.
Let it sit for a few minutes. Then we go ahead and pan fry this. We're using two tablespoons of cooking oil. get heated for about a minute or two, then we would fry these babies. If this is your first time viewing my video, and if you like what you see, don't forget to give us a thumbs up or thumbs down if you figure it's don't wait it. Click on the bell so that you can be notified of any new release. And don't forget to subscribe. That way I can continue making videos and continue improving on my videos. Now the fat is just about heated. It's a small pan, so I just be frying one at a time. These you can let, after the pot has been heated, you can let these fry on both sides for about two minutes on each side. That should be good enough or enough heat that will get these properly cooked. 